Hi everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at a double replacement reaction, a precipitation reaction, and uh, discuss a strategy we can use to balance the equation. Let's start out by looking at this chemical reaction. I'm using a solution of 0.4 molar iron 3 chloride, that's FeCl3, uh, dissolved at a solution of 0.4 moles for every 1 liter. And uh, next, we're going to be adding some sodium hydroxide to this. The sodium hydroxide is a concentration of one molar. That means there's one mole of sodium hydroxide for every one liter of solution. Uh, note that there's a dark brown color that's forming right here. This is the formation of a new compound. This is iron 3 hydroxide, FeOH3. Uh, please note that there's a clearing taking place up here. Uh, we can see that the iron hydroxide is actually falling or precipitating. Um, now, let's look at a strategy for balancing this particular equation. This is a substitution strategy. So we have the um, formulas written for all the compounds, iron 3 chloride, sodium hydroxide, iron 3 hydroxide, and sodium chloride. Now, I want to do some substitution. So for iron, I'm going to substitute in the variable A. For the chloride ion, I will substitute in the variable B. For sodium, I'll substitute in the variable C. Finally, for the hydroxide ion, I'm going to substitute in the variable D. Uh, now, this is a strategy that you can use for double replacement reactions. You can also use this for single replacement reactions. You can't use this strategy, unfortunately, if you're looking at a synthesis reaction or a decomposition reaction, just for single replacement or double replacement reactions. So now we want to rewrite our equation for this chemical reaction process using our variables. So AB3 is the same as FeCl3. CD represents NaOH. FeOH3 can be represented AD3. NaCl can be represented CB. So we need to write it CB right here. Now, this can actually reduce a lot of clutter from our equations, making things a lot easier to analyze um, to evaluate the numbers. So I can see that I've got 1A on this side. I have three B's on the reactant side of the equation. I have one copy of C, and I have one copy of D. Now we need to evaluate the product side of the reaction. Once again, I can see that I have one copy of A. No problem here for the A's. For D's, though, there is a discrepancy, right? Um, but first, let's do the B. For B, I see that there are three here. There's only one on this side. For the C's, I see that there's one copy on the product side. For D, there are three copies. So my discrepancies are with the B's and the D's. So how will I work on balancing this? If I add a coefficient in front of CB, that will multiply, giving me three B's on this side. It will also change the number of C's. That'll also be three. Now I need to add another coefficient at this location right here. That will change the number of C's on this side to 3, and it will change the number of D's to 3 as well. Now we want to do a final evaluation. Do we have the correct numbers of A's, B's, C's, and D's on both sides? A's, check. B's, we have three of each. C's, check. And D's, those are fine as well. Now I can take these coefficients and add them into my equation for this chemical reaction and that will balance things. So I'm going to write a 3 in front of NaOH, and I'm going to write a 3 in front of NaCl.